what is up guys in today's video we are once again going to be spectating random players in fortnite zero build kind of talking about the game what they do well what they could do differently and how i would approach the situations they find themselves in as always if you guys do find this video helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you would like to see more comment down below if you're excited for the avatar update that's upcoming next week so next week we will be getting a larger update for avatar the last airbender the Korra update we got this week was kind of like a teaser for that of sorts um i don't know how i feel about it i am not the biggest fan of collab updates but maybe it'll be good i wasn't too excited for the ninja turtle update last season but it turned out to be quite good so i'm hoping that a similar thing can happen with the avatar update i'm not really sure where i want to go for this match or where i want to land because i don't really know the olympus areas too well um probably should have gone fencing but maybe we just go grim gate it'll maybe still be populated i'm not sure like this is a weird bus i probably should have just went fencing but i was like kind of paying more attention to talking about the avatar update or just like collab updates in general but yeah i'm not the biggest fan of them i'm not the biggest collab hater either it's just that like like this core update for example i don't think the ice mythic is too good so like doesn't really change the game too much for me and that's kind of where a lot of the kind of collab items fall it's just like really overpowered or not very good and then sometimes we get like nice mobility items like in the case of uh like the dragon ball nimbus collider and then the uh turtle stuff last season so hopefully we get a good update i know like people that are fans of the show will be really excited regardless but i always kind of just like think about things from a gameplay uh perspective come on rust lord you got this what'd you get gg's all right we're gonna be on board with the nerd 922 or oh, somebody i know in this game so this isn't very good i i think killing those people it gets fine but at the same time with grim gate a lot of people like to land at the top part over here to his left so i feel like the moment you land you need to just be concerned about that like getting those kills is nice but i think those were ai anyways just kind of pickaxing each other so it's not the biggest deal and if had someone had been on the top look down on him uh that would have been pretty bad i think got some dashes which is nice he's looking to maybe get timing on this kill but he has like weird close range weapons to fight with because he doesn't have a shotgun he only has a sniper or uh, an, an smg so it's gonna work gg but uh having an smg only for close range can be rough he does now have a shotgun Somebody had just gotten a kill over here, though. Just waiting to get timing. Which can be fine. A lot of these POIs can be very chaotic and just, like, very third-party centric. You saw there, as soon as those two player fight, they're immediately kind of, like, punished for it. And the longer it takes him to fight this group, the more likely he is it is he just gets third partied. And this area, not only is there like a lot of people that land at these boss POIs that make it kind of chaotic, but also the dashes make it very hard. So like right here, I think he needed to push this kill like this or just let this go. Because there's likely, oh uh, yeah, he's getting shot in the back already. I was going to say, there's likely other people here. So like the longer this fight kind of stagnates, the better it is for third parties. And group gets the kill, but at what cost? He's 19 HP and he's now getting pushed. Dash is out of the bubble, like, it's a good play, but it's just gonna be, yeah. He's at such an HP deficit that, like, it, it's hard for him to even play that fight. This guy's a gold gatekeeper shotgun with a drum mag off the rip. And a purple AR with a sight on it. This is such good loot. Wait. I might actually know this person, too. I think this is, uh, Ruthless Cat. I think that's the logo he uses on his superhero skin. He's a shimmer that I've... Uh, fought a few times. I've raided him on Twitch. Like, we run into each other from time to time. Raided me as well. But he's a good player. And there's another good player I know in this lobby as well. So this should be an interesting game to watch. He's just gonna clear the boss. And I've talked about this several times in my videos. Kind of talking about clearing these boss POIs. But you notice he puts himself back here. In this area where it's harder for him to get third party. He's gonna kill the boss super easy. But I see some people kind of stand out in the open there with the boss, and it makes it so much easier for you to get third partied. Uh, 
by like anybody with a ranged weapon. Whereas like with this area, he has to get third partied by somebody using a close range weapon because there's not many like angles with line of sight on him. So like it's easier for him to not get caught off guard by that. And also, uh, what's it called? Like he's probably gonna hear him coming, see visual audio. And there's like several entrances out of this room. Like he can dash away and stuff. That's what I was trying to say. And dash more water. Here's somebody above him. So he's just kind of trying to wait for this person to make a play while he has like pieces of cover and right shoulder peek. He's gonna shock up. They were getting these barrels here. And it's like, if you're familiar with the POI and you know where the barrels are, you hear somebody farming that, you know immediately where they are, you know? And GG's. Dash is too good. Oh, that was a player with Underworld Medallion. I didn't realize. That's perfect. Person just got out of the car. A lot of people are going to say that looks very sus because, like, he wasn't aiming at him and getting shots. Replay mode is just a bit... Or not... Re sorry, replay mode. Spectator mode and replay mode are just a bit buggy with those sorts of things. I'm sure on his screen it actually looked like he was aiming at them. It's just that like things like that aren't perfectly accurate in spectator mode. And I'm sure you guys have probably had times where like you spectate your friends and like they're not even aiming at the person to shoot them. It's just because spectating the bit sucks. You can do the pickaxe thing here. Okay, I just go for the shotgun shot. But if that person didn't get out, then going for the pickaxe trick would have been nice. Which, if you guys aren't aware of what the pickaxe trick is, it's when you swing your pickaxe as you enter a car. You keep your swing button held. And then you look at the person uh, who's in the car. And, like, you can basically pickaxe them through the car. And it's, like, great for situations like that where, like, you have the damage advantage on somebody. And then you just need, like, a few more pickaxe swings to get the kill. I don't like going for it so much on people who are full health. But if the person is already weak, then they're probably going to be panicking anyways and you only need a few pickaxe swings to kill them. Or they'll like get out and then it's just an easy kill from there. But like if, if someone's full health, like 250 and zero build, and then you pickaxe them twice and they hop out of the car, sure, that 40 damage is nice. But like with how the shotguns are, especially the gatekeeper one, they can still like turn that fight if you just like pickaxe them and then hop out into a 50-50. I like it more as like a finishing blow or to put somebody, put pressure on somebody who's weak and not so much like to open a fight. I'm going to try to get the radio tower here. This radio tower is very chaotic though. Uh, so you got to be careful. The entire time you're getting this, I think you want to just be like mindful of third party. Like clean up the boss, but be prepared to get third party. And you see here, he reloads his AR after getting the kills. I don't think he's reloaded his sniper, but he's getting prepared to deal with any third parties before going for the loot. If he went for the loot with all his guns unloaded and then gets third party, that's like not great, you know? And then also a lot of times when you kill the boss, if anybody's hiding around here, they're going to be more aggro about coming to you once the card is on the ground. So like taking that brief time to kind of wait, reload your guns, assess things, I, I do think kind of makes it a little bit easier uh, or reduces your chances of getting caught off guard and third partied. And that's something that's like very simple, you know? If I didn't bring it up, a lot of people wouldn't have even really thought about it or like realized like, oh, he's reloading his guns. Like it's just kind of you do it automatically, but you don't need to rush it as much. And like so many simple things like that, I feel like some people like don't really think of or they're like putting themselves in more risk than they need to. This person seems decent-ish. They're just like pressuring his car. He's trying to hit a snipe on them. Notice he's not just like chalk waving on them with no damage. I think he did that to the person on the bridge, but... Uh, this person seems a little bit better, so he's gonna like respect that more. Got excellent loot thus far. I would I would be very happy with the state of this game. He's not the most on shockwaves. So he just got more, which is great. But the, also the Medusa NPC is at fencing, so he could buy some if needed. But he's got the two best medallions in my opinion: Mythic shotgun, purple AR with a sight, a sniper, shockwaves heals, uh, and forecast. Like this is excellent. Maybe contemplating raiding the sniper for the MPs. Okay, MPs can be very good. This is an AI. I, oh, maybe it wasn't AI. Actually, they had a crown. I was going to say, that's an AI. You need to be more concerned about getting third partied from the person you were fighting before immediately. And you saw that. As soon as you got the kill, he turned around. Uh, just automatically assessing your surroundings, I think, is something that, again, it goes unnoticed. But as soon as you shoot, third parties are going to be coming. So you want to be mindful of that and get out of there so he's going for the emps instead of the sniper here which is going to combo well with the flowberry fizz and the dashes 
so like that fight earlier he had with the player on the hill where he was kind of like sniping at them and it didn't really go anywhere you know he didn't hit a snipe the EMPs make that very easy because all you have to do is shockwave flow barrier at the person and throw the EMPs down uh, and it's very easy to get shield damage on that person and it makes the fight very like weird for them like EMPs are somewhat popular but it's just a very different fight you know the downside I think though is that it's not as repeatable as the sniper because you see here it has three MPs. I think they do 50 shield damage a piece. So like, or maybe it's 80. They do, they do some. They don't. They do a decent amount of shield damage a piece. But either way, like he's probably gonna use probably two or maybe all three in a fight. And then from there, like, does that player have more EMPs or does he find more EMPs to refresh his playstyle? Whereas like the sniper playstyle, once you have the sniper, you're good for the game. You know. You don't have to worry about it as much. The, I, I feel like the EMP spammy playstyle was very like more viable in chapter four because you could have the there was like an augment that made it to where whenever you eliminated somebody, they dropped the MPs. That's an AI. He's gonna be keeping with the mythic shotgun. I don't I don't think he's too concerned about getting a weapon then. Not really sure what he's looking for here. Maybe more EMPs. I'm not sure if these drones drop it. Personally, I like to uh, use a purple or a gold gatekeeper shotgun instead of the mythic because with the mythic you can't customize it, and so you're stuck with three rounds. Whereas like with the drum mag, I feel like it's a little more forgiving if like you miss a shot or get third partied anything like that. We'll see how it plays out, but the the mythic is good, but a little less forgiving. And if things go wrong, it might be harder to recover. But bo both are fine. I think it just depends on preference. I just prefer to have drum mag and maybe a little bit less damage and have the weapon be a little more forgiving and uh, like viable in third party situations. But he does have a lot of mobility to reset fights, which is nice as well. Like he has the flowberry fizz, he has shockwaves, he has the Cerberus dashes. So he does have a lot of ways to like reset the fight if needed. 14 players remaining. Island is going to be spawning soon. I think he's just kind of like going center and maybe go island afterwards. We'll see. Another medallion here. This is the Ares medallion, which would be nice for the player we're spectating to have because they are using a Warforged AR anyways for the red dots. So like getting that extra damage would be nice and getting the mythic AR would be nice. And the reason I know it's the Ares one is because the player we're spectating has the other two, and then Mount Olympus one's right here. So just process of elimination, it has to be Ares. It seems like that's where he's going, is to this other medallion player. Probably gonna fight around that hill. Also, the EMPs are gonna be great for anybody that's in a car. Cause you can EMP the car, it disables it, and it will do shield damage to the player through the car if you hit the car within the rate if the player is within the radius of your emp when you hit the car which for most cases will be true if you just hit the car and like i've talked about with like car fighting before the emps are just a weird situation for the other player to respond to so like you putting that on them i think makes the fight a little bit easier for you if it goes well if you're fighting against somebody that's using emps against you what i like to do is just use mobility myself so like if someone shockwaves and i hear them take out the emps or i see that them have the emps or just for whatever reason i know that player has the emps i'm just gonna shockwave away as they shockwave at me uh because they only have a limited amount you know they probably have a max of six they're probably not carrying too many so if they throw like two at me the first time and miss only a little bit more that we have to like outlast you know Sounds like there's two people here, but one might be a hired AI. I'm not sure. You can dash to this. I don't. I think that player landed on the island. I'm just not sure if that person under him is a hired NPC or not. Ripped it again. If these fights stagnate, he can go for the EMP play. Someone closed Astro's left. Or flow jump. And see, this is what I was talking about with the shotgun. Only three rounds? 
two extra rounds there, he might get the kill, you know? He wouldn't have had to swap to the AR. The player wasn't in, like, the best range of shotgun. But, like, GG. That's another player I've run into a decent amount. They're a good player. Now they have the mythic. AR? Someone else running to him. Oh no. Getting third partied. But he can Flowberry Fizz, Shockwave, or just Rift and get out of here. He's getting sniped at. What is his stress? Oh my gosh. He's like trying to dash to the Rift and miss it because this player's sniping him. He's going to land on them. The Flowberry Fizz is also really good with the EMP playstyle if you're going to carry EMPs because you can flow and then throw the EMPs. You don't have to like Shockwave every time. And it's, it's easier with like a area of effect weapon like that to use it and like throw it down on somebody. So the Blueberry Fizz is nice for that as well. If I was going to go for an EMP playstyle, I would uh, carry like Blueberry Fizz. That would be like my preferred heal. This Blueberry Fizz might be refreshed because usually if you kill somebody, their shot's fully loaded. Okay. Not though. I don't know if the other person dropped it earlier or if he had dropped it and I didn't realize it. That was almost bad though, mainly just because of like third parties. I didn't realize there was this many people on island. Probably would have been more aware if I was playing the game because like visual audio can be really OP in situations like that. Whereas like the spectator, you don't see their visual audio. But it's crazy though. This game has had three streamers i know about at least two that i've seen in the kill feed that aren't using an on i'm pretty sure this is ruthless cat that we're spectating and he's also a streamer so there's like three people i know in this game one of them he eliminated on island the other one is still alive and they're a very good player as well i saw them uh snipe somebody in the kill feed recently Probably gonna get that G wagon, maybe. Maybe not. He's just looking for people. Somebody on this bridge. Oh no. Is he shock EMP? I, I would go for the shock EMP here. I don't know what's going on. There's a person is sniping. I feel like you shock EMP, hopefully they still have the sniper out and you hit at least two EMPs and then you can dash on them with the shotgun. That's what I would want to do in this situation. If you have no sniper, you do not want to be playing sniper v sniper fights. Even if you do have a sniper, like peeking into a sniper is rough. Doesn't matter if they hit one shot all game. If that one shot they hit is on you, that's like GG essentially. He's going to go for the shockwave fizz. He just got bodied. Now this person is fizzing. He's going to throw the EMPs. This should get some pressure off of him, but that person already chased. Right, GG's. That was the other player who I know that's a good player. He also streams on Twitch and I've rated him. Defender. He's very good and underrated. EMP was good there. I thought maybe he would throw the EMPs just to get some damage back on that player and they and to like kind of reset the fight and allow himself to heal. But the the second player was already pushing by the time they got EMP'd. But had the timing been a bit different, I think that would have just like completely reset the fight with that damage. And that is something like, I think you have to keep in mind if you're behind damage on a fight, like get away if you can and heal. But also, if there's any opportunities for you to get some damage back and create a situation where you and the opponent are both kind of incentivized to just like chill and heal, that's good for you if you're already losing the fight. But I, I, I think the gate, the Cerberus dashes are just too good. It, it made it very hard for that second player to win that fight. Looks weird on spectator, but like, when somebody just Cerberus dashes to behind you and is hitting you with the Mythic Shotgun, it's so hard to play. And I, I think the Cerberus Medallion is far and away the most effective and the most powerful. And it's like kind of my main priority now, uh, m even more so than Radio Tower. I want to make my way over towards Grim Gate and get that Medallion or eliminate the person who has it and get it. Because like fighting them is just rough in any sort of like close range fight. Three players remain. I expect the rest of this lobby to be pretty easy. We'll see. This has been a somewhat stacked game. Like, there's been several, like, three players I know in here probably that are good. 
typically when that happens and this like player we're spectating has eliminated the other good players oftentimes the remaining lobby isn't very good because like the better players tend to play a bit aggro so like they've probably each killed a few good to like decent players themselves over the course of the match and the people who are still remaining just weren't really involved in the conflict and weren't really involved in like any of like the mid-match objectives or like skirmishes around like the medallions and stuff you know still has emps no flowberry fizz which isn't the greatest also if like i said earlier the timing would have been if the timing was a bit slower for that person shock waving and then he got the mps off like they could have just reset that fight easier but also on the flip side if they had if the person had pushed a bit faster with their shock waves like it's hard it's you know impossible to get that timing right like it's just like milliseconds of time but if they had been fast enough to dodge the mps and i think this player 100 percent loses that fight like i was saying before like using your mobility to dodge the mps if you're aware the person has it uh is nice and you can sometimes be aware they have it because it like glows when it's in their hand and so like it could be somewhat obvious. Kind of a 50-50 there, but you see just how much health advantage the EMPs have. That's two EMPs raining down on that person. All their shield gone by the time the fight starts. And then you're on them with Cerberus Sashes and Mythic Shotgun. This final person is an AI. I'm not really sure what they're doing. I feel like they're just trolling the AI. They're trolling my spectating video. Now all the comments are going to be about how their aimbot stopped working at the end. I'm like 99% certain this is an AI though. So it's like, it doesn't really matter what happens. Like, eventually it'll die to storm. This was an interesting game though. Like I said, we got to see a good player fight some other good players and we also got to see a pretty different play style in terms of like the EMPs instead of sniper and you saw it be effective in a few fights and those were like the crucial fights to end the game basically. But if you try to use the EMPs in every sort of encounter, I'm about to just mute this because it's constantly on fire. But if you try to use the EMPs like immediately in every encounter, you can run out rather quickly. Which can be rough. Uh, but I feel like he used them at the right times. Also, I talked earlier about how I'd prefer to have a sniper because you can use it more often. On the flip side of that, a lot of people are going to be carrying snipers themselves. So you could have the argument that like, I'll use my EMPs, get some easy kills on good players. And then uh, I'll get a sniper off their body, which probably would be true in most cases. This man is really trolling the AI. What is wrong with Fortnite players? They're bullying AI in the storm. But that is going to be it for this video. As always, if you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, comment down below what you thought of like the EMP playstyle, where you fall on that. Like if you prefer the sniper, if you prefer the EMPs. Also, what you think about the upcoming uh, Avatar The Last Airbender update. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.